This is a Get Your Geek Establishment. Get Your Geek Stand up, 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 up. This is Ghetto Geek TV, we're live at Word Up in Harlesden, this is Picture Palace. We've got one of the open micers right now here. Um, this is John. John, how you doing? I'm good, man, I'm good. Fantastic, John. I had a nightmare the other day. See, I was um, waiting in a cell, imprisoned, waiting for my judgment. I saw a, a few masked figures walking up and down my door. I heard them planning the most painful way to cause my downfall. They weren't men or women, they were omens, walking prophecies. They said they were going to make it so that I live without being alive. Still have eyes but no sight, ears but no sound to hear. Make sure that I had the bear to bear my existence. We just saw you just do a fantastic, powerful performance, actually. You've got a very unique voice, but you've also got a really powerful message. Just summarise what you say was the sort of message behind that, that poem. That so it was, just, it was just essentially me talking about um, being a seed and mm. understanding, like, it's the process of how a seed grows to yeah. a plant or a tree. Yeah. And then, like, kind of, like, um, twisting the message almost, like a seed almost is, like, buried alive. Yeah. And then for it to grow until like, it, it, it reaches trials and tribulations and... What kind of influences? What got you to get such a creative form of writing? Um, like I'm an estate kid, so growing up, like yeah, I think right. I think the struggle kind of like kind of like influences you, yeah. and then hip hop is almost not hip hop, but like rap is almost the um, vehicle for a lot yeah. of your your feelings. Yeah. So that's what I just use all the time, like and poetry in general. Man. You know, it's interesting to talk about that because about like rappers exposing them sort of expression of your thoughts and yeah, feelings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be honest here, right? A lot of the rap going on out nowadays, right, coming from the states particularly, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's about as long as it sounds catchy and it, it sounds cool, then it's gonna. That's hit. what they. That's what they like, isn't it? You know, what kind of things get you that knowledge? You say living on the streets and having experience to come from the state, but you're an eloquent man. You've got a lot of things, you know. I'm, also, I'm just. I'm just finishing a politics degree at the moment. There you go. So, I had yeah, that in my mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm this guy's got yeah, 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 I'm yeah. finishing a politics degree at the moment, so right. that's what kind of like kind of fuels me to carry on, especially yeah. with, I think I chose specifically not to go into rap yeah. as opposed to poetry, which is a bit more like, I ain't got the tagline, this yeah. black guy from a so sort of state, like, it's yeah. just like, I'm free to kind of express myself a little bit better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I totally hear that. I am great beyond measure. I am an atom waiting for my induced physio reaction so that I can then become like a mushroom cloud, a message to the world. And in the deep sea, I am an oyster. And within me lies the shadiest pole. I'm a lion in the high grass, waiting for the right time for my presence to be known. I'm an ant, who though small, has the power to carry 10 times its weight. I am a prince waiting to take his throne. I am great beyond measure. Say it after me, I am great beyond measure. I am great beyond measure. That's what I wanted. A lot of the people that be watching this who are ghetto geeks, yeah, yeah, yeah. they might be more into rap. They're yeah. like, well, you drop poetry, so what's that all about? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the question I've got to you is, what's the similarities and differences that rap has with poetry from your point of view? Well, rap stands for rhythm and poetry, man. So at the end of the day, poetry's at the core of rap, man. Like, I'm even trying to find, I'm even finding it hard to convince my friends to listen to poetry, because they're like, John, you can't be doing this, man. Yeah. You need to be making rap tunes. Yeah. But I think poetry is the core of what it is, man. Yeah. I think it's the fabric that makes rap what it is. So, so what would you say is the difference then? The key thing the is the difference is rap comes with a lot of uh, connotations, negative connotations, especially if you're, um, um, especially if you're a, a certain kind of person. So rap yeah. comes with certain connotations. Yeah. I swear poetry yeah. feels to have a bit more freedom. In, in, in expression, yeah, rappers yeah. like you gotta do this, you gotta do that, or you're not really, you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? Absolutely amazing, a pleasure to actually see you do your work. Love, love. Yeah, it's all blessed for you, John. This is Ghetto Geek TV <laughs> signing out.
if you put a beat behind it.